Hey y'all, come on in. Three years ago, we bought an acre and a half of land and we built our forever home here. So if you've been following us from the very beginning of our journey on Instagram, this is the long awaited house tour. We're so excited to finally show y'all a full tour of our house. If y'all been following us on TikTok, I know y'all been asking for a house tour for a while. So this is our home. So just to give y'all some specs on our home, we built a 3,600 square foot house. We have four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Our house sits on an acre and a half of land. We had our home custom designed by an architect. So we came up with these blueprints ourselves. Let us know in the comments if y'all have any questions about the process of building a custom home. We're excited to share content here on YouTube about our custom home building journey. Go ahead and give us a follow on TikTok, like and subscribe here on YouTube for more house content. And let's go ahead and jump into the house tour. So I'm starting here in our foyer. As y'all can see, we have a two story foyer. This chandelier we actually found at a local consignment shop. We just kind of did some shopping at different places around town looking for light fixtures and just cool things for our home. So that's one of the pieces we found. So off to the left here is our formal living room. Some people use this as a dining room. Some people use this as a study, but we use this as kind of like a little sitting room. And it's just perfect because during Christmas time, our Christmas tree went right there in the corner and it was just the perfect spot to like open gifts and just make memories. Also, fun fact, my hobby is art. I love painting. So most of the art pieces like this one and the one behind me here or across from me here in the foyer, you'll see. Um, I actually painted these. So yeah, I love art. And one of the special touches I wanted to put on our home was creating custom art for each room. So off of our foyer, we move into our living room. Now the layout for our home is pretty much open concept. The living room carries into the kitchen and we just think this feels so open. By the way, our ceilings are 10 feet. So you'll see that like this space just feels so like open and wide. And I think that's because the ceilings are so high. One other thing I wanna point out is that the sight line from the front door to the back is just straight through. We wanted to capture just the beauty of the view of our lot. We were just in a wooded area and we loved how serene the our yard feels. It's just huge. So we put these big sliding glass doors here off of our living room and this goes out onto our screened in porch. And this really doubles our living area. When we entertain and open these doors up, it just makes our living room feel like it's twice the size. I love sitting out on our screen and porch, it's so relaxing. All of the cabinets in our home were custom built. We don't have any prefab cabinets in our home. They're all solid wood. So in our cabinet package, we added in some cabinets for our living room. And then I also have some cabinets in my office, but this is an entertainment center that we had designed. And it's just a nice place to sneak in some extra storage. So now moving into our kitchen. So we went with white cabinets and gold hardware, like gold accents in our kitchen. I just think it looks so crisp and timeless. Now we did not do pure white cabinets. We did off white cabinets. If you wanna know the exact color of our cabinets, we'll put that down below in the comments. Just let us know. But our hardware is from Amazon. All that's linked on our LTK. We did some oversized pendants over our island. We wanted our pendants to look substantial and because our ceilings are so high, we didn't want them to be too small. So yeah, those are our um, pendants. And then our island is nine feet long. And I also wanna point out to y'all just this little detail that we did for our island. This end cap on our island is extended all the way almost to the end of this stone. And the reason why we did this is because a lot of people just kind of end their cabinet right here and have this long piece of stone hanging off and i just always thought that looked unfinished so we love the look of the cabinet all the way to the end of the island so the bar stools just kind of slip under and it just looks so much more clean so in terms of appliances we have a gas cooktop stove this is our fridge here tucked away in the corner 
We did double ovens, and I wasn't sure how much we would use these, but they're fancy, so I wanted them. <laughs> but I find that we use them a lot, especially during the holidays, but I like to bake, so even like on a weekday, I can have dinner in the oven, but also be baking a cake on the bottom, so it just works out really well. So off of our kitchen is our mud room. Now, we designed our mud room to be right off the garage, and we have a built-in drop zone right here with cubbies for shoes, hooks for bags and coats. So we wanted this to be like the drop zone so clutter like coats and shoes doesn't collect and drag into the living room. Now when you come in the house from your garage, what is usually the first thing you have to do when you get home? Go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> so we designed this mud room to where the powder bathroom, the half bath downstairs is right off the mud room, directly across from the garage. You can run right in the house and go to the bathroom. So this is our half bath right off the mud room. We wanted the, the vibe of this bathroom to be moody, so we did the paint in here like a deep, dark green. It looks almost black, but it's actually green. This is a marble countertop. We had our vanity, again, custom built by our cabinet maker. We did gold accents in here. And yeah, this is our powder bath right off the mudroom. Perfect location for running in the house and going straight to the bathroom. And by the way, this is another art piece that I painted. And I want to get this framed, but yeah, that's another little touch I added to our room. Like I said earlier, all of our cabinets were custom made by a local cabinet maker. So I want to show y'all some of the features of our cabinets, just some like little cool things we added to our cabinets. All of our lowers are drawers. We have a ton of drawers and the drawers are just so much easier for storing stuff because you don't have to like dive into like shelves down there you can just pull out a drawer and it's just our drawers are really deep so they're just great for storage but my favorite drawers we have are these pull out racks for storing utensils so as you'll notice we don't have any like utensils on the countertops and that's because we have them stored all in here so it's just perfect and even this little um knife thing come closer I'll this little knife thing is so cool. It is a place to store your knives. This is a place to store cutting boards, little shelves at the bottom for little doodads and stuff. So those are perfect. And then our trash pullout is right here. Dishwasher. So yeah, that's our kitchen, y'all. It's very efficient. We also did a built-in soap dispenser. So, you know, sometimes the Dawn bottle sitting out on the counter is just not so aesthetically pleasing. So the there's a tube that is actually inside the dawn bottle underneath the sink so you can just squirt out your soap here and then that's the garbage disposal we also had our cabinet maker design this custom vent hood for us i think my only regret about this vent hood is i wish that we had gotten this part right here stained but there's like an insert in here that sucks up all the smoke and then this is a light so we love this vent hood i know a lot of people do the microwave on top of the stove but let me show y'all where our microwave is at so our microwave is actually inside of our pantry so we have a walk-in pantry it's concealed by this pocket door and our microwave sits right here on the counter so i call our pantry our appliance garage <laughs> because all of our little appliances sit in here on a counter we designed this pantry to where there's a countertop going all the way around so all the clutter that usually collects on the kitchen countertops lives here in the pantry so our toaster blender all that stuff is tucked away in the pantry we have a ton of storage in here this pantry is still kind of a work in progress <laughs> i'm not the best with organization but as you can see we've bought some little organi organizing things that I don't have stuff in yet because I'm still organizing. But in our pantry, we also left an extra space for a fridge. We don't have kids yet, but in the future when we do, we may need an extra freezer or fridge. So we left a space there for that. And then this is an extra space for like a little wine fridge or something like that. And then this is our dining table. We have an eating kitchen. So since we don't have a dining room, we designed our blueprints with this bump out right here where we can have a full size dining table. So now y'all can follow me into the man cave. So I know that most people do the man cave as like the, in like the bonus room upstairs, but 
my husband wanted his man cave downstairs. He was like, look, when I have the boys over, I don't want everybody tracking up and down those steps. I want my man cave downstairs. So my husband did his blacked out man cave <laughs> downstairs. He loves this room. This is where he plays his game. He has his fridge, his bar over here, his record player. But what's so special about his man cave is that he has these double doors out here that go straight out to our grilling deck. So he can open those doors, be in his man cave grill at the same time. It's just such a vibe. <laughs> All right, and the last space I have to show y'all downstairs is my office. So in my office, I did a pink accent wall, and I also have this crystal style chandelier. I'll link that on our LTK. As you can see, I did some custom built-ins here in my office, drawers on the bottom, and then some shelves up top. My shelves are still a work in progress. I'm still working on them. But yeah, this is my office and I'm like a vintage girl. So I found this cool table that I'm using as my desk. The hill I will die on y'all is that they don't make furniture like they used to, okay? You will notice that a lot of the furniture in our home is antique pieces. I love going to like thrift stores and consignment shops and Facebook market to find like quality vintage furniture. So this table I actually got at Habitat for Humanity and I plan to refinish it when I have some time. All right, y'all, this is our screened-in porch. Both of these doors open, but all four of them don't collapse, so it's only these two middle ones that open up. We did an oversized screened-in porch with a grilling deck right beside it for my husband's grill and stuff like that. We have some nice seating out here, a dining table, a huge ceiling fan up there. <laughs> Um, this ceiling is not vaulted, but it kind of like slants up, so it gives the illusion of a much larger space than it is, but this really is a very large screened-in porch, and we entertain out here. We have a lot of fun out here. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show y'all my favorite room in our house, our primary suite. So at the top of the steps is our laundry room. It has all the essentials, a washer and dryer. Let me tell y'all something. The hill I will die on is the old school washer and dryer. The new ones just don't do it like the old school ones do. And then we added a sink in our laundry room with some storage and a cabinet in there for our soap and detergent and stuff like that. All right, now I'm gonna take y'all to our primary suite. This is our primary suite. This is my favorite room in our home. As you can see, we have a little sitting area here right in front of our bed. We did a tray ceiling with an LED light going all the way around and we can actually change the color of the lights to just create different moods. So off of our bedroom, we did his and hers closets. I love my husband, but I like having my own closet. <laughs> so this is my closet. I did a built-in dresser in here, a chandelier. We had our closets custom designed with storage and shelving by the, the guys that did our trim. So we wanted custom closets. This was like a dream of ours. This is our bathroom. And before we go in the bathroom, I wanna point out to y'all that we did heated floors in our primary bathroom. You know, towel can be real cold. So it's nice being able to walk on nice warm tile. And we have the heated floors on a schedule. So they're warm at the time today that we're in our bathroom in the morning and at night before we go to sleep. So we wanted to go for just like a simple, classic, timeless look in this bathroom. So we did a marble style floor, but this is porcelain tile. We did a freestanding tub. We did gold accents in here. So we have a gold tub filler for our bathtub, gold tile bars, all gold accents in our shower. The vanities in here were custom built by our cabinet maker and they're beautiful. We did custom stains that we picked out for these cabinets and they just came out so pretty. I think they complement the gold accents so well. These are some modern, just sleek, classic light fixtures that we did to the left and right of our mirrors. 
And we did these nice tall mirrors in here that just give the illusion of a larger space. So that's one little interior design tip. When you go for your bathroom vanity mirrors, you don't have to do like a big long mirror. You can do a skinny tall mirror. It still gives you enough mirror space, but the taller mirrors just make the space feel more large and more grand. Now, oh, I have my little vanity area. So I have my little makeup area, my perfumes and stuff like that. That space is a work in progress. I wanna get some more things to spruce up that area. And then we did a frameless glass shower and we did his and her shower heads and a sprayer in the middle. Now, I love this shower because each shower head has its own control. So my husband likes his water kind of like lukewarm, but I like mine real hot. So we don't have to fight over the temperature in the shower. Um, we each have our own control. And then we also have a built-in bench in there so we can sit down in the shower as well. So yeah, that is our primary bathroom. We also have a water closet in here. So that's where, that's where that door goes to. And then for our cabinets, we added, we don't have a linen closet in our primary bathroom, so we added some tall built-in storage that gives us plenty of towels, space for towels and sheets and stuff like that. All right, so now I wanna show y'all our other two bedrooms and our hallway bathroom. So we have two bedrooms right here, one on this side and one on that side. And then we have a hallway bathroom here. Instead of doing a Jack and Jill, we decided to do a split bathroom. So I'll show y'all how this bathroom is laid out. So the vanity sink area is separated from the toilet and the shower by this pocket door. So someone can be on the toilet or taking a shower while someone else is out here um, getting dressed or doing their hair or makeup at the sink. And then the last space I have to show y'all upstairs is our bonus room. And there's actually a funny story about this room. So originally this bonus room was just going to be a bedroom. <laughs> So when we designed our blueprints, this space was only this room. This was just gonna be a small bedroom. And I had planned to use this as like a little workout room. I planned to get, oh, I planned to get a treadmill to go in here and some weights, which I already have. But then once we were in the framing stage, our builder was like, y'all have to finish this extra space. On our blueprints, it was just attic space. But during framing, we realized how large this attic space really was. So let me show y'all what's behind these double doors. So behind these doors is this huge bonus room and we plan to turn this into a movie room. This is literally huge. This was never supposed to be finished. It was supposed to be just attic space. <laughs> but once we saw how large this was during the framing stage, we made an executive decision to go ahead and finish this space off. And we're so glad we did because this added almost 500 extra square feet onto our home. Well, that concludes the tour, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the full house tour. We're so excited to be able to share our home with y'all. This has been a really long journey. It took us three years to build this house from start to finish, from buying our land, to getting our blueprints drawn, to getting permits, to the actual building process, which was about 15 months. So this was a very long journey for us. We're so grateful to be able to live in our this beautiful home that's our forever home. This whole journey for us started on a piece of notebook paper. We sketched out what we wanted our dream home to look like. We weren't sure when that would happen or how it would happen, but now, four years since we've had that vision, we're standing in our dream home. So it's really surreal and crazy to just see how far we've come. But again, thank you for watching our video. Give this a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more home content here on YouTube. Also go ahead and follow us on TikTok at the Lewis Residence where we share house, home, and lifestyle content every single week. All right, y'all, see ya.